Hey everyone, it's Lydia here at Lydia's Leisurely Stitching. Today is Friday, November 13th, 2020. Welcome to my Flastube channel. Um, for all of you that are returning, thanks for coming back. For all of you that are new, uh, thanks for stopping by and hopefully you'll see something you like. Um, let's see, today I've got three whips to show and I've got my finish that I got framed. I showed you my finish last time. I guess I can go ahead and start with that. Okay, so I've got two things framed since I last made a video. Um, I've got this poster here. Um, this poster is of the artwork The Resting Tree by Jenna Della Grataglia. Della Grataglio. Um, <laughs> Probably not saying that right. Um, and this is actually charted by Heaven and Earth Designs. And I bought the mini version of this um, artwork and I worked on that. Uh, and I got two and a half pages done. Um, and I'll put in a picture of my progress. Um, but I didn't, I didn't really like how it was turning out. Um, I kind of felt like it was missing some of the original detail from the artwork. Um, so I gave that whip away to someone else I found on Full Coverage Fanatics Facebook group. Um, and I just bought the print instead and got it framed. So now I have some artwork. Um, and then the other thing I got framed, uh, last video I talked about my finish on If, the poem by Rudyard Kipling. <laughs> so let's see if I can. There's the whole thing. It's great. Um, so I got this really intricate frame. Um, my husband picked out the frame because this uh, I stitched for him for a birthday slash Christmas present for last year. So <laughs> funny that I just finished it for his birthday Christmas time this year. Um, but here it is beautiful frame. Um, I'll just scroll up so you can see the whole thing. There you go. Yep. So that is all done and framed and it hangs on the wall just off screen over there usually. just want to be careful with it so it doesn't fall and bust the glass. My husband, his favorite thing about it is he got the museum quality glass so it has no glare. Um, I'm just getting a phone call. That's my husband. He's on his way home from work. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, he, like whenever he looks at it, he's like, whoa, there's like, there's no glass there because <laughs> he got the museum quality glass. So we kind of like joke that that's his favorite thing about the piece. Not the stitching, but like the glass that you can't see. It's showing even know it's there. Um, which is a little silly, but whatever. Okay, so for my framing, and then let's see. Projects I worked on since last time. So last time I talked to you, I was going to work on Coral City. Uh, let's see, I've got that here. This is on 18 count sand Ada. And it is, uh, Coral City is a piece of artwork by Ciro Marchetti. Pretty sure it's Ciro Marchetti. Um, and so last time I had the first page done over here. And so I went ahead and did this second page. Um, my goal for this this year was to get a uh, second page done. So goal met, feels good. And I did 3,000 stitches, just a little over 3,000 stitches on this since last time. So this is going away for the rest of the year. Um, my original plan was to uh, do one page on this every year um, until it gets to be more of a focus piece. So. Two years, two pages. More progress than 
nothing. So that's good. Okay. And then I also was talking about last video how I was going to do No New Starts 2021, which is a Facebook group. Um, and I mean, I'm still definitely going to do No New Starts 2021. But I told you that there were three projects I wanted to start before the end of the year in preparation for 2021. And three months left in the year, October, November, and December at that time. So I would start one a month. <sighs> so I did have a start in October, but it was none of the three that I showed you. So my new start for last month, uh, this is hard to tell what it is right now. Uh, this is the beginnings of the gingerbread train. It's part of the gingerbread village series from Little House Needleworks. And I can put in a picture of what it'll look like when it's finished. Um, let's see, so I started the uh, top border. I did all of the brown twiggy parts, the snow on top, and I started some of the leaves. Um, and this is 200 stitches, so this counts, well, it's more than 200 stitches, but it counts as a start for No New Starts 2021. So I've got that down. I was just really craving some Christmassy stuff. Um, I'm so ready for Christmas. Like, uh, I have some twinkle lights already put up in my living room. Uh, it's starting to get darker and, you know, the darker days always give me lower energy and a lower mood. So I'm trying to infuse light wherever I can. So twinkle lights, I'm gonna put some lights out on the yard and holiday stitching. It's a good start. Okay. And then, the bang one. This is gonna take a little bit of coordination. Okay. So, here it is. A place of her own by Haid, and I enroll it every other time, so I'm not gonna enroll it all the way this time. I'll just show you this quarter that I'm working on right now. Okay, a place of her own. The artist is James Christensen. And I am on the third row of pages. Again, coordination, not my strong suit. We'll work on it. Okay. So, last time, you know what, maybe I'll just set it down here. And there we go. Okay, so last time you saw this, I was over here and I was running about half a page behind on my yearly goal. So my goal for this year was to do 10 pages. Um, and let's see, so I was running about half a page behind. Uh, since then, let's see, in October, uh, since my video, I did 5,632 stitches, and that finished up a page and a half. So I finished up September's page and caught up and did October's page as well. And then so far in November, I've been working on this and I've done 1,423 stitches. So in total, I have added 7,055 stitches since you last saw this. And, um, I'm still working on my yearly goal for this. So my yearly goal, again, is 10 pages. Um, I've got to finish up the page for November, which goes to about here. I'm probably 30% done with it. And then uh, one more page for the month of December. So back up to me. Um, good progress so far on all of my goals. I started a year with four goals. Uh, finish if, which I did. Um, finish a page on Fantastic Mushroom Lodge. Well, start and finish a page on Fantastic Mushroom Lodge. I started that back in the spring, probably around March. I got a page finished on that. Uh, a page on Coral City. I did that. And then 10 pages on A Place of Her Own. 8 out of 10 done. So, good progress. Um... 
I had planned on doing 10 pages on Coral City every year for the next four years so that I can get it finished in four years. Uh, but I'm just kind of getting burned out on it. Like, it's hard spending all of my time working on one thing and not getting any finishes to have anything to put up on the wall. So, I might have to rethink how my plans are going for next year. Um, yeah. So, thanks for visiting. Um, my husband just got home, so I better sign off. And I hope you all stay safe, stay well, um, keep on stitching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.